Yeah. That's the most important part of the day. You go to sleep feeling successful. Feeling successful. And feeling like things are working out for you beautifully. That you're just really happy about yourself and your future. You're happy about it. And you go to sleep while doing that. Then that will happen to you. Like everything is happening to you right now. But what you do when you go to sleep. Because that's what you do every day and that's what's happening to you every day. Because whatever you feel when you go to sleep tonight is what's going to happen to you for the next few days and for the next few years. And everything in your life is already set right now. What you're going to say 20 years to a man named Ashmagash. It's all set and it's going to happen unless you change it and you have the privilege of changing it because you can go to sleep at night pretending or let's say like counting $100,000. You get a $100 bill, study it and learn to count $100,000 in your imagination and start doing it when you go to sleep at night. And the first night that you're right in the middle of counting it and you go to sleep, then you can decide you don't want it. <laughs> it's no good. You're going to get it. And it's not going to be for nothing. There'll be a very good reason you got it. You could never, like, I, I told you the story about Tony, right? Um, I don't think, I think you did, but I, I, I vaguely remember. Maybe you can reiterate. Yeah, the, Tony came to me and said, this stuff that you're teaching, this positive thought, to me, is the silliest fucking thing in the world. He says, but there's one thing you could do for me that would convince me that you're right. Says, I want you to tell me something that's going to happen that I know will never happen and it cannot happen. I took the challenge and started thinking of something until I came up with it. We had the Arthur Murray studio in Reno. Reno was 40,000 people. It was on the very last page in the last group of a thing that was mailed to us every week about what every Arthur Murray studio did how many interviews they had, how many people came in, how many this, how many that, how many the other thing. And I talked to Tony and I said, Arthur Murray will throw a convention, throw a convention for the Reno studio. Tony says, that will never happen. I says, well, when it does happen, will you believe? He says, of course, because it's not going to happen. It's stupid. We're the smallest goddamn Arthur Murray studio. We're the very last number on the very last page of the book that comes out every week. You can't do that. Okay. I did an exercise of I'm looking down. And I'm looking at my hands, and I can hear a huge crowd. You know that sound that a huge crowd makes. I'm sitting there looking at my hands. I hear this huge crowd. I start raising my sight. 
until I see two microphones. I see a microphone right here and a microphone next to me. Now I see the microphone and I look up and see the crowd. They've come to see me. And I look to my right and there he is, Arthur Murray is walking up the stage and he comes down and sits beside me to talk on that microphone. I told Tony that Arthur Murray will throw a convention for the Reno studio and he says this can't happen, it's impossible. When it was all over, I went to Tony and said, Tony, we did it. You said it was impossible, it couldn't be done, and we did it. He says, yeah, but uh, it's none of this positive shit you're talking about. He says, you're probably the smartest man I've ever met in my life. You did everything right. You earned it. I mean, you went to, we went to 800% of par. People were writing us. We were getting letters every day. What the fuck are you doing? I would always answer it. I'm not doing anything. I'm just doing the best I can. We hit 800% of what we were supposed to do. And Arthur Murray threw a convention in Las Vegas for us. And that was a, uh, an exercise you did from Neville Goddard. Yeah. And I went to Tony when this was all over with. I says, Tony, see? And he says, see hell. He says, you're the <laughs> smartest son of a bitch I've ever met in my life. But you didn't, you didn't just dream this shit up and make it happen. It, it happened because you're a very good man, you're a smart man, and you did, uh, you did 800% of what you were supposed to do. And Arthur Murray threw a convention for you in Las Vegas. It's got nothing to do 